Hey guys, what's up? Not sure what's going on, but my camera keeps um it keeps stopping the recording. So let's just get started. Uh let's try and keep this under three minutes. What have I spun? Alright. <clears throat> this first skein is a skein of alpaca and it's in a light beige and a pinkish beige color. This is one of my this and that skeins. Then we have a remnant skein which was what was left over after um, plying up all the other bobbins. This is the brown is um alpaca and then this gray is um, merino a honey colored tussle silk and a white bamboo. And then we have another this and that skein of alpaca of various colors. All of these are three ply. It is I prefer to Navajo ply, three ply my yarns. And this is a three ply. That was alpaca. And this one is also alpaca. Then we have I don't know if you guys can see the sheen on this, but this is, um, let's see, it's hard to see it. This is merino, tussle silk, and bamboo. It's very soft, very, very soft. This one is merino. As you can see, it doesn't have the shine if it'll focus. It's merino. It's a black and white merino. And the, it kind of looks grayed out because of the way it just doesn't want to focus at all. Auto focus that doesn't auto focus very well. You know, you take off auto focus. Focus in the yarns. There you go. I'm going to be blurry in the background, so just, you know, you got to be used to it by now. So, And then this one is the black and, the black and white is, um, the black is merino and the white is bamboo. And then the grayish looking one is the Tulsa Silk Merino and Bamboo blend. And this one is really soft, really nice. Well, all of them are really soft. Okay, so that was what... I have spun up <clears throat> this week. I also did some more dyeing. It's drying right now. So hopefully it'll be dry and I can show it to you guys next week. Um, so let me to put it back on auto focus. Works in progress. I have my daughter's blanket and I only have one more full skein to do of the orchid. Um, I have about a half skein left of the wildfire. That's the color that I'm currently crocheting into this blanket. And I should be finished with this blanket by tomorrow. Well, I'll finish it tonight. I'm going to weave in all the ends. So she'll get it tomorrow. Uh, before she leaves for school, probably I'll just throw it in there. <laughs> Maybe a wake up, wake up call. The other works in progress I have is the shawl that you guys have seen this before. It's the Isles Fin Shawl. Um, I still haven't finished that. Also the Shark Socks. All these bags are Poor Girl Project bags. Give me your 418 Erin and on um, YouTube and I'll put a link to her Etsy store in my description. And then there's another one of her bags and this is the one that has the shark uh, crochet shark slipper socks in there. And then this one has my toe of my socks in the open yarn party. Um, so this, I have two skeins of this because I have, and um, once I finish the shark socks, 
Marissa Shaw, then I will be able to concentrate on finishing it. Mm -hmm. Knitted socks, as well as some other projects that I want to start working on. Um, I have one skein on the bobbin. This is a full skein, but I don't feel like taking it off the bobbins right this minute. So, you guys, gonna have to just suck it up, grin and bear it. And that is, oh, yeah, I have to finish projects. I have these two discards, and that's my finished project. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. Right now, as of right now, I I will be going to Maryland Sheep and Wool. You'll be able, if you are going to be going to Maryland Sheep and Wool, you want to stop by and say hi or whatever. I will probably be hanging around the Walks Far Acres booth in the main main barn. Uh, usually, when I get there, I go to the Misty Mountain Fiber Misty Mountain Farms tent, and I purchase um, Shetland fiber and I purchased some merino dyed merino fiber that is from their farm. That's what I usually do when I first get there and then from there I head over to well I'm not gonna be doing it this year because I'm not buying any any fleece but I usually go over to tent I think it's um barn three or four where there's these ladies from Lancaster, Pennsylvania and they have these awesome border leister fleeces. They're very clean, uh very well skirted fleeces. So you're you're and they're very affordable fleeces. You can spin them from the lock or you can get them processed. Uh, you can use them for doll hair and stuff. They're beautiful, beautiful fleeces with, with gorgeous crimp. Um, so, yeah. And then from there, I usually go down to barn one to look around because in barn one, that's where I buy my spindles from Jim's Turnstiles. I go over just to look at the golden spindles. I have yet to buy one of theirs. I look at the Jenkins spindles and the Turkish, the Turkish the Spanish peacock spindles. And then I go over to Walks for Acres and I pretty much hang around with them most, most of the time I'm there. You know, meet up with my friends, go eat and, you know, get ready to leave, stuff like that. So that's usually what I do at Maryland Sheep and Wool. Um I know a lot of people go there to buy yarn. I don't need any yarn. So um and I'm not a sock fanatic. I I have yet to find the joy in knitting socks. <laughs> Put it like that. <laughs> um, that could change, you know. Crafters, you know, one day it might be like, bam, I love socks. I love knitting socks. But it hasn't happened yet. Um, so, yeah. So, that's, I'm definitely going to be at Maryland Sheep and Wool unless something comes up. Um, podcast I follow. That's something I wanted to add today. I was going to tell you guys on Ravelry, I follow the Thank God It's Finished podcast, which is Aaron's podcast. I follow the Two Tangled Skeins podcast, the Turbo Knitter, Knittables, me and my dog and some yarn, the Knit Girls. Um, let me see. Dramatic Knits, the uh, Knit More Girls, um, Cheapest Podcast, Never Not Knitting. Pin Hook and Needles, The Brochet Podcast, Knitted in Circles Podcast, Friends of Heartland Knits, Wolf Farms Podcast, and SPK. Um, I forgot what SPK stands for. So, let me see. The Sassy Pants Knitter. I follow her. Um, and if I go over to the Knitting Den, if I go over to iTunes, the ones I follow on iTunes are The Knitting Den, um, Undead Yarns, The Good Yarn Guide, uh, Down Under Yarn, Gentle Ribbing, Sock Bunny Knit and Fit, Anatomy of a Knitting Podcast, The Hungriest Knitter, Round the Twist, Watch a Swatching Podcast, The Must Stash Podcast, Known Acres Podcast, Caffeinated Knitting, 90% um, Knitting, The Cotswold Knitter, and Stocking Net Zombies, and Fat Squirrel Speaks. I also watch another one. Um, let me see. I watch it on YouTube. There's two that I follow on YouTube. One is with Sadie, and the other is Darren and his wife. 
I think I probably said it. Uh, let me see. And I need to see if Sassy Pants redid her tweet, 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 um, iTunes thing. What is it? To do the word and back and done and done and done and done and done and done and Is it never not knitting? Yeah. Oh, Knitting in Circles podcast. I watched the Knitting in Circles podcast on iTunes. I'm mean, not iTunes, but on YouTube. And I also watch Sadie's podcast. And she, I can't think of the name of her podcast, but I watch her on YouTube as well. Um, when I watch this week, so if she do if she does a podcast this week, I'll I'll write it down so that I can tell you guys what it is. But I think she has she has I think she has a uh, Etsy group, not Etsy group, but a rivalry group as well. Um, I just haven't joined it yet and added it to my podcast list, and I need to do that. And that's the podcast that I watch. Um, I prefer video podcasts. I like that's just me. I don't know the Audible podcast. Put this, I'm sorry, but even though you might be humorous and stuff, it's just I'm so used to using sound like radio at night, low radio or low music to to help me fall asleep. So audible podcasts, all they do is make me sleepy and I fall asleep. Video podcasts keep me interested because I'm trying to see what they're doing or sort of knitting or, or looking at the actual things they're showing me. Um, but that's just me. That's just... I'm a visual person. Uh, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about today. Um, yeah. So y'all take care.